let me thank Summit for the opportunity given to me to address the inaugural session on the occasion of the accession of Mauritius as observer to the South family. I bring to the summit the warm greetings of the Prime Minister, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Mauritius, Dr. the Honorable Navin Chandra Ramgulam, who is personally unable to be present today due to prior commitments, but I wish to underscore the fact that the government and people of Mauritius and are proud and delighted to be accepted as observer in South. And I'd like to express our sincere thanks and appreciation to all members for the support which you have given to Mauritius. Although Mauritius belongs to the African geopolitical region, our population has more commonalities with those of the countries of the South region. Mauritius and South members are bound by deep historical and cultural ties as highlighted by His Excellency, the Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh. These ties have strengthened over time with increased linkages and trade flows. The South region and Mauritius share similar strategic interests and also face similar development challenges such as vulnerabilities to climate changes, food and energy security crisis, as well as the challenges of a liberalized trading environment. Yet we believe we must transform the challenges facing us into opportunities to enhance South-South cooperation, encourage transfer of technology and ideas, and facilitate investment. I now have the pleasure of inviting His Excellency Dr. Shilkan Sharma, the Secretary General of SAC, to deliver his statement. Honorable Chairman, Honorable Heads of State and Government, distinguished representatives from observer states and organizations, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a great privilege and honor to address the inaugural session of the 15th SAC Summit in this beautiful city of Colombo. I'd like to begin with profound thanks to the government of Sri Lanka for the warm reception and gracious hospitality extended to us and for the excellent arrangements made for the summit. Our hearty greetings go to government and people of Sri Lanka on the 60th anniversary of their independence. I warmly felicitate His Excellency President Mahinda Rajpaksha on his election as chairperson. I'm confident that his vast knowledge and rich experience would be invaluable in directing the work of SARC. We are confident that under His Excellency's chairmanship, the achievements of previous summits would be greatly expanded in the coming year. Grateful tributes are also due to the outgoing chairperson, His Excellency Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh of India, for steering the association since, last April, uh, since April last year with his keen personal interest and unwavering support. During his leadership, SARC has made significant headways in diverse areas of its work to move from declaratory to implementational phase. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to honorable ministers and the high representatives of the observer states at the summit. Excellencies, the 15th summit is taking place at a time when our region copes with a fast-evolving global context. Internationally, increase in food, fuel, fertilizer, and commodity prices is constraining the growth rate of SARC economies. The exorbitant rise in price of oil may also impact on globalizing trends in general, eroding thereby the benefits derived by South Asia. The countries of South Asia are also vulnerable to climate change issues. We are confident that the 15th summit would provide direction on the nature of our response to the existing and emerging challenges facing the region. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the meeting is now adjourned. I thank you.